Alright, so. Alright. Alright. Let's see. Ten third illogical things that will make you lose your mind. Okay. Um. We will transcend the biological and live as post human gods. Do you think that's possible? What? To live as a post human god. What do we. What does he mean by post-human god? We don't live. We don't use biological. Um, oh, it'd be just full robot? Full something else. It doesn't necessarily have to be robot. Just we don't have biological. We don't use biological. Anything biological oh. for our existence. Or conscious. Let's just leave it like that. We are post-human beings. I don't know, I don't see why it wouldn't be, especially with the old robotic thing, because that one would definitely count. Um, I, don't, I don't know about that. I mean, we could be like, develop... But you don't think develop people dark matter, become... Develop dark matter, and then we just, like, we live in a different existence. Hence no, 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 the first one's most likely to be robot, because we're that close to it. I don't think we're going to find dark matter easy to mold anytime soon. <laughs> I'm just saying, what if, just, you know, like, some hidden properties just, like, blows your mind. <laughs> uh, good night. Besides, I question dark matter. So many people in the scientific community kind of make it sound as though it's literally just, like, we don't know what this is, so it's this questionable object. But people talk about dark matter as though it's an actual object when it's just a questionable object. So anything unknown could fall under that. If there was a black hole there and we couldn't see it, that would be dark matter. And it wouldn't make any sense to people who's, who believe as dark matter is some substance. Because that wouldn't be dark matter. That would just be black hole. You just didn't know what it was. Yeah. That's the issue with it. But there is a possibility that there actually is a dark matter kind of thing because it, it just all depends on names and stuff. That's the issue here. Is because anything unknown is considered a dark matter at this time. So it's not really a very strong word choice at the moment. Fuck, how did I go through the laser settings again? Uh, You got a Hold shift and right click, I believe. Yeah, I see. It's always... <laughs> or was it, was it shift? It might have been the right bracket. Right bracket, yeah. <laughs> Shot of losing in the front yard. <laughs> of course. That's why. Because that did exactly as you said. <laughs> Is there a line on the ground? Exactly. You push the right button to be instead of the shot. left. Actually, no, wait. I think it would be the right one as well. Yeah. It has a tendency. Make sure you're not pointing at the house, that's for sure. It wasn't at the house, it was at the yard. Yeah, I think I see the line. I feel like. Um, no, you're on the other side of the house, don't lie. <laughs> yeah, literally, there are like literally, three different lines in that area. It literally punched the hole through that. <laughs> through the house. Uh, Project Blue Bean. The government will engineer a false flag supernatural alien invasion. <laughs> <laughs> they could. I don't know why they would. <laughs> a false flag alien invasion. It could be done. Uh, and I don't know who would believe it 100%, but could be done. I mean, unless, of course, we need to actually see the whole floating ship factor. That might be an issue. Because, I mean, more or less telling people things. Because I mean, you'd be surprised how much you can tell someone and they'll just believe you. Uh-huh. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like, there was random explosions out in the middle of this area. 
and we don't know what caused it, but we found these symbols on the ground next to it, and then all of a sudden you got a bunch of people freaking out. We're going to decipher that just like the other three languages we haven't done it. And then, I mean, think of it. All you gotta do is go up to, like, the Mayan calendar and be like, oh, look, there's another side to it. <laughs> people, people will start panicking because the flood of the world's coming again. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. I don't know. You would have to do really hard, like, large scale. Like, this preview image, just everything is going off at the same time. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Our handlers predictably programming to plan communication and brainwashing. Our handlers use predictable programming. Actually, let me get in here. To plan our communication and brainwashing. I don't know about that. What would you do? End up on like an alien site or whatever? Well, no, I'm just on the same site. I'm just. I don't know even how I even got it, to tell you the truth. <laughs> it's all those links, man. They're they're designed to lead you astray. It's just uh. I don't know about that. It's people are like, oh, it's predictably programmed that way, and I'm thinking to myself, you don't really have to brainwash anyone if there's anything I know it's just like the uh, the button movie just push it put enough put enough stress on someone and someone will push that button <laughs> you know what, the one where they push it and it kills someone but they get paid or something yeah and, was it? yeah and of course that's their you know spoiler what spoiler if you that want to the see the whole point of, that was if the you want to see the, the movie if you want to see the movie spoiler alert Oh. It's your child, and you have to use that money to take care of them for the rest of their life. That's what, you know, it's all about. Eh. Don't eh I me. Mean. No one, no one wouldn't have expected, expected <laughs> that. You're like, oh, Evans hey, in and they didn't Wikipedia it. They sure as hell did some sort of summarization. I mean, it, it seems so obvious, though. I mean, isn't that a pretty cliche one? It's like, oh, I've got a family to protect, so who else matters? It's sometimes a bit stupid. Yeah, it is a bit stupid, but I'm, uh, I'm like... It's like, oh, I'm going to sacrifice someone else's life for my own greed. It's like, if it's not to the point of imprisonment, I don't really see you know, a reason to take away another person's life to achieve. I'm like, I, I mean... I, Fucking, I've been to the slums. Fuck, go back there. I'm fine. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah. See, the problem, with that, the problem with that whole concept thing is that those people would go for that money and at the cost of people's lives. And, you know, when you think about it, it's like these people are being too greedy. They think of themselves or their child as the most gifted thing in the universe. And it's like, no, no one should think like that. No. Nah. No one really should, because that's just too self-centered. I mean, even my, even my, my even my parents came to terms of accepting. That. Everyone accepts that no one's special. I mean, you have to deal with things. Yeah, like, you but know, you have should to accept we keep that them alive. You're kind of not thing. special, and what, what you produce is not special. What? I didn't get what you said. You have to accept the fact that you're not special, and the fact that what you produced is not really. That's special. For example, uh, a colleague of ours ha has a child, right? Yeah. And I'm like, I don't really care too much about that child. I don't care too much about him because he is not special. Yeah. But in his book, he is special. His child is special. But to accept it depends such on your definition of special. The world. Is the world. It depends on your definition of special still. Because. When you look at the world, you're like, he's the most important thing in my life. But that doesn't mean you would take someone else's life. If you see him as the most special person that exists, then you don't care about other people's lives. Yeah, that's what I'm, yeah, that's what I'm referring to. You don't care about other people's lives because that life 
But I don't think that's how that person thinks necessarily. What do you mean? Because he said that he was the world. But yes. he didn't say that he was the only. You know, he wasn't the best. He is the best in that person's world. He's the best in their life. Beyond their life, he's not the best. I mean, they'll see up, they'll look up to him like he is because he could become. There's potential. Yes. But there's less reason. There's no reasoning towards over, towards being that high and mighty about it. Like I don't know if they'd be that extreme about it. That extreme about it. I don't know. Met it's a question of you know of pressure on it too because it's like if they had to make that choice right now. I'm not saying. I'm not saying like bad that. parenting. I'm not saying, oh, you should treat your child like shit. I'm just saying that, you know, being a part of a good parent is knowing that your child's going to fuck up. You know what I mean? Yes. And it's just like, you have to accept the fact that they're going to be that, they're going to be that crazy person if you don't do it right. Yeah. And Wait a minute. <laughs> this is 32. I ain't doing this. But ultimately, you have to accept the fact that you may not be doing it right, and thus you may become that crazy person. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, my parents knew that. Freaking. See, like, the thing is, is like, people have to stay real. They gotta stay, they gotta stay realistic with everything they do. Yeah, that. Actuality. Because... Know their actuality, which I don't think a lot of people do. Yeah. A lot of people think, I could become an author, and I'm like... Yeah, you can be, but so it's far you're not showing me that. Yeah, yeah, you're not showing me the actuality of executing such a thing. And sometimes it's all about dedication, though. Eventually, they might figure it out. Yeah, it is achievable, it's but you're not proving it. It's like the hell's on. So, like, uh, I want to become a doctor. But it's like I don't want to have a problem with that. You just have to make pull pull out the actuality of it. But they don't. I want to. Thus, kind of pointless. And what they said. Yeah. Let's see here. I need... I need a... Transformer. Wood, copper. Okay. Oh, man. I don't know, it's just one of those things that I'm just like... At this... Hmm, how should I put my words into thought that I know how to feel about myself? Uh... Know your actuality. I think, really, that's ultimately... What I'm trying to get at. Because... There are I think so it also many people... comes back to how self-centered people can be. Yeah. Because... Uh, I think even if they saw, like, that their person was, like, everything to them kind of thing, they would see a higher, uh, further than themselves. Because when they think of greed, they just think of themselves, nothing else. So no one else's opinion or input matters. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's a random, <laughs> random man elemental. Oh, he killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Maybe oh. I killed him, actually. I don't quite know what happened there. Yeah, and he just looked at your face and he's like, oh, what? No, I shot him. I think I might have fired him up into the air and then he fell to his death. Wait, that he didn't kill himself. You killed him. <laughs> I know. He you killed him, him, Chris. I don't know. I didn't he see it. He killed him. I didn't see it happen, man. I didn't you mean get, to. You come back here, I'm going to put you away. <laughs> put you away from Look, good. Sometimes I have to be self-centered enough to kill. I'm going to put you, I'm gonna put, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put you away for, for life, Chris. In, uh, into better. Go ahead, see if I care. In, in for life. When we take those drives, we're gonna shove them right into line. Tie everything you better say goodbye to everything you worked hard for, cause it's gone. No, no, no. I built those drives. I built out those of drives. Pure indestructibility. Uh huh. I don't think they could survive a deletion. You know what I'm talking. All right, well, it hasn't exploded, so this is a good thing. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 my God. He's 
What? Be spiders everywhere. Ew. Where is it? Dang it. There it is. So diamond dust. Nope, I ain't even touching that and one. And a crap little oh god. <laughs> Great, now I gotta make industrial TNT. Greg Tech Boy! How about our universe is a computer simulator? That one was an interesting concept. <laughs> I'm playing. They're playing The Sims, and I'm just happy to be me. The great thing about that one is that there's no way to disprove it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is the Fermi paradox? The what? Fermi paradox. The Fermi paradox is an argument originally made by physicist Enrico. Fermi and Mitchell H. Hart, who presented an apparent contradiction between how many alien civilizations are thought to be out there and or and of our lack of evidence of their existence. If the Drake equation is right and there are literally millions of intelligent species in our galaxy alone, it is puzzling that we have received no signals or message from any of them. This is known as the Great Silence. Uh, there have been some incredible, interesting solutions proposed over the years, one of them including the simulation theory. Why would the simulation theory be put into that? That's just kind of weird. I don't know. We're talking like, about I know it, we're I talk know it would apply. No, but... we're just talking about... Uh, life beyond ours. Yeah. That's just all it states. That, you know, don't take any more out of it than, you know, it actually states. Yeah, I know. I don't know how, I don't know how that would fit in it as well. Oh, no, I, I see how it would work. I'm just saying that... <laughs> I'm saying that's a kind of weird thing to just bring up out of the blue for it. It's like the explanation is. <laughs> Could be one of the previous theories that you were just talking about. I don't, I don't really... I'm like, I don't know. I mean, that theory would make sense there, but I just don't know if it makes sense in itself. The only thing I questioned was like that wow signal. You know, that guy, the wow phenomena, where he got a signal back. From space, and he was just like, "What the hell is this?" And then he, oh, that random spike. Yeah. And then yeah, there was a there was a time when it was just they were just like, "Oh crap!" Suddenly everything's going off. <laughs> <laughs> you do know they like in 2012 they sent about 20,000 random tweets to space. <laughs> Welcome to Twitter. <laughs> that's like, wait, what? Uh, and I'm like, mm, that's, that's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Whatever. Let's just make the alien. This is why they're not going to come to us now. <laughs> Get a Twitter and they're like, "What's the going on with the simulator?" <laughs> uh, Simulator's talking back. Stop it. <laughs> when the Sims actually realize that you're the omnipotent gob that's controlling them. <laughs> Shit. And then it's just like, well, I didn't see this coming. <laughs> <laughs> so are they going to be upset about me torturing those guys? <laughs> Putting them in boxes? Let's see. <laughs> okay, I don't have to touch that one. We live in a multiverse that contains an infinitive number of universes. Universi. <laughs> Universes. Everyone wants to put eyes on the end of things to make them put. It's like that's not. It shouldn't be how it works, but at the same time, it kind of is. <laughs> Say, uh, nightmare death syndrome. The Japanese called it poke kuri. Filipino called it banko krugat, embedded bat. For the uh, what is it? All right, Taiwanese men, some of whom wore lipstick to bed in order to deceive nocturnal ghosts, claiming it to be a pi m or a widow ghost, a malevolent spirit who, much like 
Frederick Freddy Krueger, or one of the supernatural ghouls of the grudge, steals away the souls of young men in their sleep. All these names refer to the same thing, Nightmare Death Syndrome. The, fr the phrase originated from the investigation in the 1960s when Dr. Gonzalo Ap Aponte was called to the U.S. Naval Hospital in Guam to investigate the death of 11 Filipino sailors who all seemed to have died inexplicably in their sleep after days of complaining about nightmares, though the autopsies turned up with concrete with few concrete details. Aponte looked into the case further and found reports regarding sudden unexplainable nocturnal death or S U N D or Sund <laughs> They got sunned. Dating back to nineteen seventy one. I mean nineteen seventeen. I wonder if this like how how new can does that go up to? Like nineteen sixty. The investigation was in nineteen sixty. For a U.S. Naval Hospital in Guam. 1960. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we'd be that confused at that point. I mean, well, the thing is, like, like uh, the thing about nightmares and stuff is, uh, I've heard things like that. They they kind of communicate to you what's going on. You know how you, when you dream, you actually would, you'd have like you'd do whatever you do in there, and it would actually reflect something about yourself. Yeah. Now, uh. Some people have theories about having nightmares and how it explains. Like, if you see something painful happen to you, uh, you know, around your kidney area or whatnot, when you're in your dream, it, it could be, it explains to you that your body is telling you you've got a problem with your kidney, or, you know? Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. Because that kind of stuff does happen sometimes. Sometimes it can point out cancer and all that stuff, you know? Um, because if anything's most aware of what your abilities are at the moment or how bad you are oh, health-wise, it's your body. So, yeah. so um, there's there's reasonability behind like having nightmares. Uh, although I don't know why they would just die of randomness. I mean, it could be that whatever they had killed them if they had something, which may or may not have been detected at the time. Who knows? Because, you know, I mean, I don't know whether or not there was the best technology towards figuring out whether or not people were healthy. <laughs> no. You know? Yeah. It is, a. Uh, it is, a. Uh... Bunch of these. Just throw them in there. Just grind them up. It is odd. Most certainly odd. Wow. Oh no, I didn't make enough. Let's see. Radioactive precognition. Precognition, yeah. Uh, future events can't affect present cognition. So, uh, you can see the future. Uh, feeling the future <laughs> experimental evidence of. Oh. Uh, an anomalous anomalous retroactivity influence on cognition what 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 I'm tired of thinking I fall asleep oh my god here no no no, no. you ain't fall asleep ever you speak nothing you can never sleep again. I'm going into the void. You'll wake up from a nightmare. The void of the... Oh, man. Okay, I thought I was... You'll wake up dead from a nightmare. Wake up dead. Like... Like Wimplo. He's not waking up. <laughs> You're not waking up. Oh, oh snap. Wake up. <laughs> Everything you everything you've done up till now is a dream. You actually have to record again with me later. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh me. Yeah, that's right. I really thought I could get away with it too. Was it? Yeah, yeah. metal kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes you have to be made of metal. And you have to have the metal to deal with that metal. Not a metalloid. Excellent, an industrial grinder. I love industrial grinders. Ah, uh, yes, grinding. I can't do the right click on this, but it's cool. Right click's dangerous. Don't do it, man. I can't do the right click. 128. So that's high voltage. High voltage. High voltage, you say? Um... Not sure how to hook this up without like blowing up half the block or something. I guess I could, cause I, cause I want I want a tank underneath it to constantly keep it full of water. I need attachments from the sides to keep it pumping in and out items. And then at the top, there's never enough space when you only have like so many sides to use. Chris, what's a whole growth? Uh, that'll grow. Um. The, what is it, the, uh, I forget, silverwood tree. It'll grow the silverwood tree. Or greatwood tree, I think, instantly. Well, and, or. Because I don't know if the greatwood tree grows normally with bone meal. Hmm. But I know that the, uh, I know that silverwood will not. It rejects all things you do. The hell? Um, the hell happened to that? Um, Chris? What have you done? Um, I had a hole, a sapphire hole, right? And then I was yes. about to, like, I dragged it up out of my inventory onto my hot slot real quick, and then it disappeared. Um, despawned. Because I heard, because when I dropped it on my hotkey, right? It sounded like it did its action, you know, that, or that, yeah. I, that crumpling sound, and then it just disappeared. I don't have it then. I don't know. Oh, wait. What the hell? It disappeared. But then when I scrolled over it, it actually... Whatever. Never mind. It was just invisible by accident for the moment. Okay, I torched. I just torched everything. It turned invisible. Sometimes. Oh, I know what's going on. In this world, things disappear. No, it's not disappearing. It's lag. That's impossible. That's improbable. It's probable. That's implodable. In the pearl mention. I need them cables, yo. You don't need cables, man. That's mainstream. Need cable. That's mainstream. You don't need that. You don't need cable. You got the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Internet's alive and don't you understand it's all a ploy? Eventually our phones, our computers, everything will connect to cables. Called c calling for cable. Uh, and and in that in that world we'll have to deal with having to live with Comcast for the rest of eternity. I don't know if I'm fine with that. Yeah, not many people are, but those people are now dead. Huh. So <laughs> well, will you push this button <laughs> and doom the rest of the world to a different type of cable system? Whoa, whoa. Or will you accept Comcast? I don't know. I have them right now. I would think I'm pretty much doomed, so why not make the rest of the world feel the way I am? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Your selfishness shall not go unnot punished. I'm just going to be back real quick. He shouldn't have done that. He'll never come back. God, there's never any, never any connections. There we go. I don't know what the hell that was about. I don't know. You about ready to pack up? Yeah, hold on. Just let me finish cleaning up this area because I was meant to doing it in there. I don't know what the hell was happening. No one does. Yeah. I'm in. Move out. Alright. Uh. Why is the sky flashing? Uh. You. Your daylight. Um. Your, your night vision might be on and off right now. 
It might take a second for it to get back into normal. What's going on? MFE, I don't think. Oh my god, I actually have one. I wasn't bugging. Not bugging over here, but I'm bugging over there. Where, Where are you at? I'm by the, by the, what do they call it, bamboo. Um. Right here. I don't know, is it still doing it? Not anymore. Not when I left a chunk. What was it doing? Like, was it turning yellow and then back? Yeah, it was going from day to night, and then it was, uh. Yeah, I I think uh, like it takes twenty seconds for your helmet to realize that it's just normal but again. Then it, you know? I couldn't move correctly and I couldn't do actions correctly because it's moving up the earth there. It's weird. Okay, I don't know which. Oh, you've done. Chris is <laughs> Chris here creeping the ground there. Eh? But not be inside where I think it is. Um. Okay, good. No, it isn't. <laughs> you you're crazy, Avon. You're losing it. Losing all things. No, no, I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna just put this back in the hell out. Alright. Oh god, what have I done? Ha. Huh. Alright, let's see if this blows up so I can just laugh at myself being a total idiot. Nope, didn't explode. So, connect this. Alright then. That's good enough.